Hey everybody, Justin here with Bear Zapper Barbecue. Sweet hat. If you want a chance to uh, win yours, click the link in the description. Sign up for my newsletter. It's going to go out weekly and uh, you'll be in the running to get a sweet Bear Zapper hat with an awesome leather logo. Love it. Anyway, today we are going to be, it's a uh, kind of cold, dreary day. Nothing better than cold, dreary days, or nothing better on cold, dreary days than some beef stroganoff. That's right, bone sticking beef stroganoff. We're going to do ours with a reverse seared ribeye, though. Super pumped. Stay tuned. Peace. <laughs> What's up, everybody? All right, so tonight we are going to do some um, beef stroganoff, but I'm going to do it using these 100% grass-fed organic ribeye steaks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse sear them on the Weber. Uh, I'm going to put them kind of up a little bit higher on the Weber. I'm going to turn on one side of the heat and just kind of let it circulate in there. Throw my meter probe in there as well. Um, and then what I'm going to do is instead of searing it on the Weber, uh, I'm going to sear it in the pan, uh, which is then going to, um, kind of keep the flavor in the pan. And I'm going to use that same pan to redo the rest of, uh, yeah. What's up everybody. All right. So today we are going to do a, um, a beef stroganoff with egg noodles. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use 100% uh, grass-fed organic ribeye steak though. Um, I just got these because they're good sizes. They have some pretty decent marbling. They had some really nice color to them. I'm gonna start them on the grill and then I'm gonna move them to sear them on the inside, getting some of the flavoring in the pan. And then we're gonna make the, um, you know, we're gonna cook the onions and some mushrooms in a, uh, in a frying pan and make the sauce and everything. Uh, that we can toss on top of the egg noodles. But it's all starting here. I'm gonna throw them on the Weber to reverse sear them a bit and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we took it out of the packaging. We threw a little bit of Lane's brisket seasoning on there. I really wanna play with the flavors of this. I, uh, I remember growing up thinking, um, you know, I didn't love beef stroganoff. So I really wanna add some really, really kind of strong, awesome flavoring into the into the steak itself, and that will carry right over to the sauce and, you know, the mushrooms and the onions and everything. So we're seasoning it with Lane's brisket today. We've got these going on the Weber in just a few minutes. I'm going to heat up the Weber now, throw the temperature probe in there, and get these bad boys on. All right, so we've got the steaks on. Uh, this is on super, super low over here. I actually might just turn this one off all the way. This one's on low, this grate's on low, and then that one's on kind of medium. Um, there we go, medium. So we're just gonna let this indirectly cook. All right, we've hit uh, 125 internal on the meter. Just gonna pull these off, bring these inside, and let them rest. And then we're gonna slice them up. Actually, then we're gonna sear them inside and then add them to our sauce. All right, so we've got some uh, oil heating up in our pan. We've got the steaks that we had before. We're gonna put those in there and we're gonna sear those. Get some flavoring on the bottom. We're gonna throw in the mushrooms and onions and the um, rest of the uh, ingredients to make our sauce. And then in here, we're gonna have some egg noodles going. Stay tuned. All right, we've got some oil in the pan. We're just searing the outside. Oh yeah, listen to that sound. All right, so we took the steak off. We got that resting over there. We're gonna slice that up. Now we have um, about a tablespoon of butter, uh, half of a chopped up onion, and then three quarters of a container of um, baby, bell, uh, baby bell mushrooms. We just added in about three uh, small clove, cloves of garlic. We're just going to mix that all up and get it cooking together. want to mix until it's uh, soft and fragrant now. All right, so we've cut up the pieces of steak. It's 
got a nice little crust on the outside. Nice and pink on the end. So we're just gonna cut these in half just to make smaller pieces. Soon we're gonna toss these right into where we're cooking here. All right, Ooh, this is smelling good. About ready to put in uh, some flour now and some cream. Let me grab that. All right, so we've added our tablespoon of flour here. And we're just gonna mix it up real nice. Now we're gonna add in about a cup of a uh, cup of beef broth. All right, so we're adding in a cup of beef broth. So we're gonna use this to deglaze the pan a little bit, and then we're gonna add in about three quarters of a cup of whipping cream. All right, we've added three quarters of a cup of the cream in there. We're just gonna let this thicken just a bit. We're gonna add in a little extra brisket seasoning and we're gonna mix that in and really incorporate these flavors real nice. Now we're gonna take a third of a cup of sour cream and we're gonna add in a little of this liquid just so we can um, kind of temper it a little bit so it doesn't uh, so it doesn't scald when I uh, or burn when I uh, introduce it into the rest of the hot um, pan but we just need to let this cook a little bit longer before that happens. All right, now we're gonna add a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and half of a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. All right, today we're using French's Dijon. We just dropped it in. All right, now we're gonna add our steak right back in. All right, now we're gonna add our steak back in and we're gonna take some of the drippings as well. And we're gonna mix it up. So everything is incorporated. All right, we drained our noodles, we put it back in the pan and now we've put everything together into the bigger pot. We're just gonna mix it all up. Oh yeah, I can tell you right now, the smell of this is incredible. Now we're gonna plate it up. We're gonna top it with some green onion. We're gonna have ourselves a meal. Yeah. All right, here we go. Bottoms up, cheers. Mm. Ooh, that's awesome. Awesome recipe.